Alrighty, welcome back to Tormented Souls. Ah, that dropped me straight into it. I gotta figure out... Oh, I got the eyeball. Never mind, figured out. Um, am I where I need to be? Oh, I gotta go upstairs. It's been about a week since I played. Not too bad comparatively when I used to... Usually it's like a month. Yeah, I gotta go upstairs. There's a monster chasing us. We're almost done with the mansion. One out of seven children are abused. How many do you know? Luckily, he doesn't appear in the mansion, or the main hall. Or here, this is also a safe space. Dead body still there. Alright, now to stick the eye in here. I don't. Not sure how she fit it in there in the first place. We gotta listen to this. So now I gotta recreate that over here. Simple puzzle, but trying to remember it. Especially when they make you run across the map. It sounds like it's one of the same. It's like I had it, it's like. Oh, hey, I did it. <laughs> Maybe I was just a few notes short. And with that, we find another secret passage. This house is full of them. How many shotgun ammo do I got? Eight? We're at the point of the point of the game where shotguns are necessary. Mm -hmm. 
young child's diary. Thanks to that stranger, I was able to get out of the cell. I hid the best I could inside the mansion, but grandfather and the student men found me again. This time, they took me to the sewers under the family crypt. He told me that I wouldn't be able to escape no matter how much I cried and begged. Then he closed the door and left. Luckily, he didn't notice the lighter and flashlight I grabbed from the mansion. I found what happened to a bed, or I found what appears to be a bedroom. There's a filthy bed, electricity, and even a functioning television. There are boxes of food and a pipe that provides drinking water from above. The smell is terrible. It reminded me of the suited men who struck my mother just before she freed us from the metal crosses. Seven years have passed since my last entry. The television that offers only local channels is the one thing that has kept me sane. Sometimes I wonder why I still hold on to life. Blisters have started to appear on my skin. I can feel a burning sensation. With each passing day, my appetite diminishes while the vomiting only gets worse. Something is taking over me, something evil. At night, I listen to the sound of clinging metal from behind the door that leads to the underground temple. After all these years, I am still unable to sleep with the noises ringing out. Well, we rescued her, only for her to come back. Be locked up again. Stay down. Biatch. Boy, it is dark. Should make it easy to render then. Bertram Wildberger's Diary. March 15th, 1927. I have finally found my purpose in life. The truth came to me this, through this book and from the hand of the Creator. Right now, I stand inside the sacred temple. In the presence of a god waiting to be reborn, I can clearly see my destiny. I will dedicate my life to the rebirth of the Polex sect. Together, we will bring back our savior so he may return light to this wicked world. And we found William Wildberger's employee ID. Nice. Right, that's all we need down here for now. So now we gotta go back to the main hall. How many saves do I have four? Ah, eh, we'll wait on saving. I'm glad it's one of those games where enemies don't respawn. Alright, ID goes in here. Frozen Blood Medallion goes here. And now we gotta deal with this knowing part of the puzzle. Alright, so the triangle's at the bottom. It's a simple puzzle, but you gotta like mirror it in your head. No, that's not right.
Actually, I think that one is right. No, that one's definitely not right. I think that's it. Boom! We mentioned we read about this door in one of those diaries. Oh, isn't there item to grab up here? No? Sudden shift in tone in the locations. the uh, single shot don't enter no saving you should not have been here I'm preparing to start a new adventure I wish only to find what every ambitious man looks for to escape poverty poverty uh, oh shit I didn't read it why well, did it that was the gold door I have fallen into the sea and never learned to swim. I am three feet under the water. My only wish is to have what which we've had for all our lives. For now, it, its absence will kill me. I believe it will be this one. Basin is empty. Air. Two. I was rescued by a crew of sailors, but we were lost. I longed to follow the light of the stars in the earth. Some minor constellation in the night sky. I would assume this one would be the directions. Let's try it this way. Yep, that was it. A freer storm sank the boat. We will soon be fully underwater. In these desperate moments, I focused only on finding something that will keep me afloat. Wood! Which would be... Oh, this one would be based on doors, wouldn't it? A wooden door. Alright, making progress. I'm floating alone adrift in the open sea. I gaze at the hor horizon, hoping to catch a glimpse of seagulls flying in the sky. Ooh. I think this one would be the dirt, right? Filled with earth. Yes, that was it. I awoke on a deserted island. The night draws close, but there is something I must do before darkness falls and the cold pierces my bones. Build a fire. Alright, all the candles are lit. Days have passed and see no sign of boats on the horizon. I will die here, I'm sure of that. Before I close my eyes forever, I wish to look towards the setting sun on the horizon once more. Rises in the east, sets in the west. North, east, south, this way. Passage. We did it. Shotgun and we got four. Uh, we'll swap to this guy. Yeah! Get electrified. Oh, I wasted that. Son of a bitch. Especially when I just got hit. What 
the first time I ever seen you guys attack. Bunker 3B. Lots of statues. Fancy bunker. A report about the Tismet tribe. The Tismet was an abor aboriginal tribe discovered in the late 15th century on the islands west of Canada. They engaged mainly in fishing. It is particularly striking that, unlike other aboriginal tribes of the time, the Tismut Mute carried out sacrificial rituals similar to those of the Mayans or the Aztecs. According to the first explorers sent by John Cabot, the locals sacrificed two brothers, twins, to offer their blood to the underground god who, according to legend, would be reborn and bring duality back to the world. Why is this place gotta have such a creepy ass music? A syringe filled with blue liquid. This is a very easy to miss diary. September 7th, 1979. The twins are eight years old. They run around the place, and the patients and hospital staff pamper them excessively. Our members are getting restless. They believe it is time to use the girls for the sacrifice. Until now, I have been able to ease them by suggesting a date for the ritual. November 26th, 1979. Today, Anna and Emma gave me a pair of slippers they made. It appears Anna made one and Emma the other. That would explain why they are different sizes, but they are comfortable nonetheless. The date of the sacrifice draws near. I cannot sleep. December 15th, 1980. The hazard suits have begun filtering the radiation of the egg. Every time, more and more members of the Polex sect are being con contaminated by this strange sickness. First, they become dizzy and vomit. After that, burns appear on their skin and their behavior becomes violent. They lose the ability to recognize each other. The members who are hospitalized are being treated in a hidden room. We tied them down to the beds, but something unexpected started happening. The patients have merged with metals around them and the medical equipment. I have never seen anything like this before. This phenomenon is related to the radiation of the egg. It's turning them into monstrous beings. Is all this some kind of test? Are we meant to overcome this to be saved? No, dude, you're worshipping like a fucking demon. If your religion requires sacrifice, you're in a cult. Especially if it's turning people into monsters. I guess that report also explains the uh, origin of all the monsters we've been fighting. Mausoleum of the Albita. I'm just gonna keep a shotgun. Their feet are getting sucked in. There you are. Step. Get the critical hit. Damn it, you can't. I don't think you can evade with that. He's seriously still alive. Die. Bastard. Surprisingly, I'm not doing well on uh, healing items. Easy to miss book right here. I should be adding this part too. Bertram Wildberger's diary again. January 23rd, 1932. Why have they taken me away from the what I loved the most? Are they testing my turn determination? The roads to salvation are full of thorns. I have always known that, but I did not expect one of them to pierce through my heart so cruelly. Your death gives me more strength to carry on with my mission. I will see you again soon, Christina. 
April 12, 1946. So many souls have been sacrificed. For some reason, I feel no guilt or remorse. I am convinced that our sacred mission is the most important, important thing right now. And, in the end, everything will be, have been worth it. Tonight, we offer the blood of the twins we kidnapped from the town. The egg continues to develop correctly. However, as it grows, it radiates more and more energy as the moment of its arrival gets closer. For us impure thing beings, the radiation is harmful. We have seen cases of members having burns on their skin. I have created a special plasma to treat them after ritual. rituals. That will help. I hope the hazmat suits protect us for a little longer. Hold up, what is it? A podium. Someone must have preached, preached from here. Hidden chamber, meeting chamber. Healing item. Noah's Diary November 7th, 1967 For years I cursed my destiny. I always thought my birthright had been stolen from me when, I, when my twin brother didn't survive labor. I hated my mother. I hated the doctors. I hated myself the most. We were supposed to tribute our sacred blood to the gods. The sect won't sacrifice a single child. They require twin brothers or our god will be unable to grow. Now I understand. My role as our gods we in our God's rebirth is not to give my blood, but to lead the Pulex sect into his sacred destiny. You're crazy. Some sort of heart is placed on a cross. It doesn't look like a painting. Is this a photograph? That's the final boss. Well, I should end this part here. Thanks for watching.